and a friend are buying an abandoned storage unit, which we've got to go and collect tomorrow, and we're going to see if we can make some money out of it. But before we do anything, we need to make some space at our storage unit, also known as the office. I live on an narrowboat, so this is where I store my motorcycle and a project moped that I bought a couple of years ago. My sister is a florist and she stores her seasonal stock here. My wife also runs her business from here. It didn't take long to clear a space. So, here it is. There's the van. There's all the stuff. This time next year, Rodney. This is a treasure. It's a Wii and they're not worth a lot, so I'm just testing it. We've also won a couple more bins. Off to Enfield to pick up some storage bins. For him to get out there. Yeah, loads. There we go. See how this goes. There's our treasures. There's the treasures in the bin. Don't drop it. Yeah. Could be glass in there. Fragile. <laughs> Fragile. Plus smelling anyway, so there's no dead <laughs> bodies in there. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, don't worry. So this is the first one we're going to open. It's not quite full. We'll get this loaded and uh, crack on. Bin one empty. Nice little bike. And so far, we're probably a quarter full. Yeah, that's not bad. The bikes are going to take up a bit of real estate, so I'm going to probably try and get the bikes on the side, on the, over at the side. This is the next bin. It's got a bigger bike in it. This has got a bit more electrical stuff in it, you know, from first view. But let's have a look. Let's get it loaded. Let's get out of here. Van, full, unit, empty. Saying that I'm uh, amazing at judging space, but there's still room in that van. I think we could pick another small unit up and get in there. Anyway, it's in. It's our big treasure, chandelier. Cool. Look at the unit. It's Monday morning, we have all this joy to sort out today. This bike, which we thought was pretty junky, it's worth about 150 quid, so uh, that's that's one result. We basically sorted out somebody else's rubbish that, in theory, should have really just gone down the tip in the first place. First bin, if I'm honest, is going to be a washout. There's nothing in there that's going to make us rich, or even break even. Let's move on to the second bin, see how we go. So out of one of the bins, I didn't think he was working, but... <laughs> It. it's a wally speaker basically you plug your phone in and he dances we might have had a bit of a saviour on some of the things we've got a load of magazines here and some of these magazines we've just looked up and they're collectible fetching between five and twenty quid per magazine so this little stack here you know, there could be a few hundred quid just sitting just there so we might be saved on uh getting our money back and making a few quid on a few other bits. Woody's girlfriend Jess I think it is and some tennis rackets and some goth boots. This is a Sony tape deck, tape to tape deck component part. I'll plug it in a minute see if it works. And this is out of the second bin is definitely a little bit better than the first bin. We have got a lot and I mean a lot of DVDs, CDs and books. That's me and Liam done for today. We've cleared quite a lot, as you can see. This is my Sandy Cheeky. Cheeky? Sandy Cheeks. This, we found her in a unit. She was with a lot of other. It was almost going to go just to charity or to one of the kids, but I thought, oh, I don't know. Still got the tag on it. It's quite an old series now. SpongeBob SquarePants. So I chucked it on in an auction anyway. Started it off with a fiver, thinking, hmm, maybe. And we've got three bids now. It's up to six quid. We're back at the unit. 
someone come and picked up the BMX bikes. That's another bike gone. We've a couple more bits that we're listing PC games, but apparently there's some quite good strategy games in here, and there's a whole pile of them there. So we're going to bundle these all together to see if we can get them. They're not worth a lot because they're quite old. Also, the other thing we found was a PS3. Again, not worth a lot. A couple of controllers, game. I've tested it, it works. So, you know, every 20, 30, 40 quid you can get helps. This is just a bit of an update. The first unit, we bought that a few weeks ago, so I didn't take much footage of that unit. For it. We did all right on the first unit. We got uh, quite a bit of money back. We've got a few bits left. That baseball glove and ball is still from the first unit. Those boots are still from the first unit. That mongoose helmet's still from the first unit. This, uh, it's an oak mirror, it's still from the first unit. So they're all still for sale. The next unit, the, the one was a bit of a washout. This, this was the only thing really, and that bike that was worth anything. It's, it's new, it's never been in the water, so it's got all its decals, the controller's there, but the only thing it's missing is the battery pack, so I've had to order a battery for it, but that's one of the only things that was really worth any money. The other one has got these tennis rackets in it, had tennis balls, this big bike, the Wally is part of it and that's, uh, I've sold that, that's just under 20 quid. I've got these boxes here which are full of books and DVDs and magazines that are going to one of these online purchasing sites. Probably going to get a couple of hundred quid from that. These are pretty much two huge boxes of books that we couldn't get rid of at the moment. There's none of those sort of magpie sites where anyone will take them. I'm not decided what to do with it. This is all clothes. So one of my daughters is listing them on eBay, washing them, cleaning them, ironing them, making them look nice, uh, selling them on eBay for more money. And we're just splitting the profit, so we're making a bit more money out of that. We're getting there. We've just won two more units, which we're going to pick up in a week. You'll get to see us pick them up. That's it so far.